There is no way I can put my nose on him to shoot him down because he fly, like in Hebrew we say, Meshuggener, like a crazy guy. He was doing loops, he was doing breaks, he was doing split S's, he was doing everything in the book, and he tried to shake him off. While Epstein pursues his own Meg, the remainder of his flight has dissolved into a fluid state of mutual awareness. The other has chased a MiG out of the bowl. Epstein stays focused on the crazy MiG driver off his nose. But now he's alone in the bowl with 11 MiG-21s out for blood. October 20th, 1973. Fiora Epstein is alone in the sky with 11 Egyptian MiG-21s. He's been chasing one for five minutes. As the turning MiG bleeds off energy, the chase has been driven lower and lower. All the time, he maneuvered so hard that he lost speed and height. They ended down about 3,000 feet. And that crazy Egyptian pilot started doing the craziest thing of all his maneuver. And that split us at 3,000 feet. The Egyptian is desperate. He'll attempt a diving reversal called a split S. It's supposed to take 6,500 feet to do this maneuver in a MiG-21. Epstein can't believe his eyes as the MiG rolls inverted and pulls down. And I didn't go after him because I think it's too low and I think he will crash. He waits for the fireball. I don't know how, but he went out with clouds of dust. And he thought, that's it, it crashed. Split seconds after that, he sees that MiG-21 raising up like a rocket. <laughs> The Egyptian has pulled off an amazing aerobatic feat, subjecting both himself and his airplane to crushing acceleration forces. Really, he did things that I, I, it's hard to believe that MiG-21 can do. But the Egyptian pilot, for all his heroic efforts, has run out of energy and options. The throttle is firewall. 16,000 pounds of thrust 